This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create this simple vector uh, material design envelope using Adobe Illustrator. So we'll go ahead and get started here with Illustrator. I'm just going to open up a new document and I'm just going to use a custom template, make it 1280 by 1280 pixels. Go ahead and click create. And here is our canvas starting out. The first thing we want to do is set up the documents so that we're all working with a similar view. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go come up here to this little drop down where the color is. I'm going to make the foreground color black and the stroke color, this secondary color. I'm just going to click this red slash to turn that off and click out of that. And then we'll go to view and we want to turn off snap to pixel and go back to view. Make sure you have snap to point turned on. And if you have smart guys selected, turn that off. We're going to have everything deselected except for snap to point here. And then we'll go to the view menu, uh, the window menu actually for these panels right here. We'll go to window and we want to select the align menu, the color menu, and the stroke menu, which will bring up these panels over here on the right. And once we've done that, we should be good to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create a rectangle. So we'll come over here to the squares and rectangles tool. And I'm just going to click and drag on the canvas to create a rectangle like that. And I'm going to change the width and the height of this. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make sure I have this chain link up here. I'm going to have that turned off um, for what we're about to do here. Where it says W, I'm going to change that to 300. And hit enter. And for the height, I'm going to change that to 150. And hit enter. And then I'll come over here to the opacity and drop that down about in half. And then we can click out of that. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom in on this by holding Alt and rolling up the mouse wheel. Maybe I'll zoom in a little more so you can see it better. And we'll go back to the Select tool. And what I want to do now is I want to create a duplicate copy of this. So I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag on this to create another copy. And I'm going to make this copy uh, red. I'll just come over here to the color picker and just grab a shade of red like that. And then uh, I'm going to hold Control and grab this corner and snap it into this top left corner right here. And then I want to come over to the pen tool and click and drag, uh, click and hold on that until it brings up this flyout menu. And we want to find the uh, add anchor point tool. Go ahead and select that. And I'm going to temporarily go to view and turn on uh, smart guides just for what I'm about to do here. We want to add a new anchor point between these two anchor points up here up top. We want it to be perfectly centered between the two. So I'm going to move the cursor along this top edge until that pink vertical line shows up. And that right there indicates that we are at the center point. And once you're there, go ahead and click on that edge to add a new anchor point in there. Then we'll go to the uh, direct select tool and click on just that anchor point and then click and drag it down until it goes slightly beneath the center point right there while keeping it on the center axis like that, right about there. That's pretty good. And what I'll do now is I'll go to view and I'll deselect smart guides. We can turn that off now. And I'm going to come up here and click and hold the uh, anchor point tool to get that flyout menu. And I'm going to grab the pen tool up here. And I want to deselect everything. So I'm going to hold Control, Shift, and A to deselect everything. And I'm going to start up here in this corner and click. And then come over here to this corner and click. Down here. And then back to the starting point. And I want to make that green. And I'll take the opacity of that. Actually, you'll have to grab the select tool and then click on it. And I'm going to take the opacity of that and bring that down about in half like that. And then we can click out of that. And what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to bring the cursor to the outside, to outside of the uh, top right corner right here. And you're going to notice the, the, uh, the cursor turns into like this arrow, this double-sided arrow with a curve on it. That indicates that we can rotate the object. And once we get that, I'm just going to click and drag to rotate it around until it's sitting upside down like that. And then just hold shift to lock it onto that axis. And then we can let go. And what I'll do now is I'll hold control. I'll grab this corner right here and snap it onto that corner right there. And there we have the bottom part of the envelope. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this by holding alt and clicking and dragging it up top here. Then I'll hold control, take this corner and snap it onto this corner right there. And there we have the top part of the envelope. So let me just move up a little bit. To move the page around, you can just press down the space bar and click and drag like that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag that. And I'm going to turn that red. 
And again, I'll hold control, grab this corner point, snap it back into this corner point. And then I want to take this arrow up here and just click and drag that down and then hold shift to scale it down maybe about that much. And that's pretty good right there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create this, uh, this little uh, shadow coming from the, uh, the envelope here. So to do that, I'm going to take this green object. I'm going, to alt, I'm going to hold alt and click and drag it to create a copy. And I'm going to make this thing blue. And I'll just hold control, grab this corner and snap it back into this corner like that. And then I want to go back to the pen tool and click and hold that and then select the add anchor point tool. And I want to add an anchor point in here somewhere along this, this line, somewhere in the center. It doesn't have to be exact. And once we've done that, I'm going to go back to the direct select tool. And I want to take this anchor point up here. Go ahead and click that. And then just click and drag that up a little bit and then hold shift to lock it to the vertical axis. Click and drag it up about that far. And then we can take this anchor point, click on that and bring this up here to this corner beneath it right there, just like that. And what we can do now is go to the select tool. I'm going to hold alt and click on that to create a copy of it. And I'm going to bring the cursor to the outside corner till we get the rotation indicator like we see here, that double-sided curved arrow, and just rotate that around until it's upside down, and then hold shift to snap it onto the, uh, the horizontal axis like that. And then hold control, take the corner, and snap it into the corner up here. And what I want to do now is go back to the direct select tool, and I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit. I'm going to click on that anchor point right there and then hold shift and click on that anchor point right there so we have them both selected and I'm just going to take them and snap it on top of it like that right about there just like that and let me zoom out a little bit I'm going to go back to the select tool hold shift click on the other blue shapes so we have them both selected and now we want to go to the shape builder tool which is over here shift M would be the shortcut and if you notice, as you hover the cursor over each segment, it highlights with like a checkerboard pattern. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt and click on this intersecting area right here to delete that. And then I'm going to hold Shift and click over all of it to unify them all together like that. And now what we could do is we can go back to the Select tool. We could zoom out by holding Alt and rolling down the mouse wheel. Move over a little bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to color all of this in. So I'm going to uh, click and drag over all of it. And go to the opacity slider up here and just bring it all the way up to 100% and click off it to deselect. Uh, I'm going to take this green object down here and I'm going to make that white. Then I'll take this red object right here and then hold shift and click on the green object up top. We're going to make them the same shade of light gray. So I'm going to double click our foreground, our fill color right here. And I'm just going to select like a, sh a shade of like light gray. Maybe something like that. Go ahead and click OK. And you know what, as a matter of fact, we might want to take this white object here since we're working on a white backdrop. Uh, we're going to change that to a, uh, a lighter shade of gray too. Lighter than this shade that we just made. So something like that should work well. The only reason I'm doing that is because we're working on a white backdrop. On the thumbnail, I had it as, a, as, as pure white, which you can do afterwards. Once we're done creating this, if you want to create a, a colored rectangle and layer it beneath everything and color it in, you can go back and make this white so it'll be more visible. Uh, but we'll take this red shape here. This we can make white because there's something going around it that indicates uh, where it is. And then we'll take this black object right here. We want to make this a darker shade of gray. Maybe something like that. Click off of that to see how it looks now. Maybe a little darker. Let me click back on that. Make that a little darker. That's pretty good. Click off to deselect. And then we'll take this blue object right here. And this is just gonna just meant to be a little shadow. So I'm gonna make this black. Should make that all the way black. And then I'll take the opacity and bring that down a little bit, maybe down to about say 21%. That looks pretty good. Somewhere like that. You could just eyeball it and see what you think looks good yourself. So I'll click off that to deselect everything. And I'm gonna click and drag over all of this. And I'm gonna group everything together by holding uh, by hitting control G on the keyboard. I'm just going to put that off to the side now. We have the envelope finished. We're just going to have to work on this, uh, creating this little piece of blue paper that goes on the inside of it. So to do that, I'm going to grab the, uh, the rectangle tool again. And I'm just going to create a rectangle on the inside 
of the envelope right here. And the reason I'm drawing it over the top of this envelope is because I want to make sure it's shorter in width than the envelope is. We don't want it to be longer or to be too short. We want to just make sure we have it at a good size. So right about there, let me grab the select tool. That, I'd say that's pretty good width. You might want to take the opacity and bring that down a little bit so you can see it better. That's a pretty good width right there. I'll just move this over here. I'll bring the opacity back up. And I'm going to make this a, uh, a shade of blue, maybe something like that. And you can go in here and edit it further if you'd like. I'm going to make this a little more a little more of a muted tone. Maybe something like that. That's pretty good. Maybe even lighter, actually. You could play around with it and get it to your own liking. That's pretty good right there. I'll click off that to deselect. And I'm just going to take this and hold alt and click and drag that and create another copy and then I'll just make this one a little darker like that that's pretty good I'm gonna hold shift take this bottom corner right here and scale that down a little bit put this back up here towards the center and I'm just gonna make this smaller like that uh, let me zoom in by holding alt and rolling up the mouse wheel I could take this handle and bring that out a little more something like that and what I'll do is I'll just create duplicate copies of these by holding alt and clicking and dragging it down and then holding and then once we've done that hold down shift to lock it onto the vertical axis just like that and I'll hold shift click on the other one so we have them both selected and hold alt and click on them as well down here and then hold shift to lock it onto the vertical axis and then I'll create maybe one more of these so I'll take uh, this one right here hold alt and click and hold shift bring it down to here and then I'm going to hold shift and click on all of those little rectangles. And I want to align them where it says align to. We're going to make sure we have selection chosen right here. And I'm going to come down here to where it says distribute spacing. I'm going to, I'm going to click this button that says vertical distribute space. Go ahead and click that. And it's going to make sure they're all spaced out evenly. And then we'll group them together by hitting control G. And then I'll click and drag over everything right here and just make sure it's centered up on the uh, horizontal and vertical axis like that and we'll group that together by hitting control G now I'm gonna zoom out a little bit come back over here I'm just gonna click and drag this over here to the envelope right about there maybe I'll click and drag over both of those and center them up on the uh, the horizontal axis like that and click off at the deselect and what we could do now is click on the envelope and ungroup it by holding uh, by hitting Control Shift G, and that'll ungroup everything. And click off it to deselect everything, and take just this this blue piece right here. And I'm going to lower that one step. I'm going to hit Control and the left bracket key, so it goes down one step. And I'm going to do it again. Control left bracket, and again, and again, and again. And we want to keep doing it until it goes beneath the bottom portion of this envelope right here. Now, the, the problem we run into now is that it went beneath this up here, which we don't want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that white object, hold shift, click on that light gray object, and I'm going to send that to the back by hitting control, shift, and the left bracket key. And that sends it to the bottom right there. And what we can do now is click off of that and take this, uh, this blue sheet of paper and bring the cursor out here till we get our rotation cursor and just rotate that around a little bit. So it looks like it's coming out of the envelope a little sideways like that. Maybe maybe not too much, maybe a little less. That's pretty good. And let me just zoom back out to 100%. I'm gonna take the entire envelope right here. I'm gonna group it all together by hitting Control G. And I'll just rotate this around a little bit like that so it's like it looks like it's standing on a corner like that. And that should pretty much do it, pretty much do it for this tutorial. That's how you can create a material design envelope using Adobe Illustrator. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.